from Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. This is Poker Night. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America presents the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party. Filling in for Joe Stapleton and Chris Hansen, I'm Jesse Abramowitz alongside Jamie Kerstetter. Does that mean I have to be Chris? Because I don't even know that many dad jokes. Jamie, what do you get when you combine beautiful beaches, clear skies, endless cocktails, and poker? A bunch of pale guys avoiding the first three things. Way to hype it up, Jamie. They're playing for a share of $5 million, and first place will earn $1 million. There's only eight left from the 1,061 that entered, each with a minimum of $70,000 locked up. Previn Stockin, with over $200 million, has 57 big blinds. Sam Greenwood is not far behind. A lot of players with middling stacks, but keep an eye on Brazilian pro Felipe Ramos. Enough with the exposition. Show me, don't tell me. Lines are two million, four million, with a button ante of four million. Each player at this final table has locked up $70,000 minimum, all the way up to our first place prize of one million dollars and the title. Two sevens here. Stock and makes it 8.5 million. Big money implications here with each elimination. Queen. Yuri Horak, two queens, rips it in, and I think this is actually a tougher spot than it appears. Yeah, Previn Stockin does have sevens. He already put in two bigs. 29. It's only 12 bigs to call, but I think he's probably assuming correctly that no one's going to be shoving light here. Like sixes, fives, fours, those are never going in. Not when the pay jumps go all the way up to one million. I call. And he does make the call. He's going to get the bad news. Vinny does me check. King, eight, five. Nine just a five. backdoor straight draw. We're uh, stuck in. Deuce. Seven. Deuce does nothing. Another deuce. Deuce is fine. Seven from heaven. Big <laughs> double up. For Yuri Horak. Fun fact about Horak, he finished second in the WSOP Colossus event for 618K. Came in second place out of over 21,000 entrants. It's pretty smart to get second in that event instead of first because you get to win 600K and still be due. Two kings for Yelstad. Hailing from Norway, <laughs> Yelstad and Previn Stocken, both hailing from Norway. There's Andre Shadalov considering something. And there's the three bet to 26.5 million from Shadalov. The pride of Brazil, Felipe Ramos considering. And let's it go. Back over to Yelstad. All in. Yelstad started the hand with 105.5 million, so he's got about 26 big blinds there. Shadalov wisely lets it go pretty quickly. Norwegian aces. <laughs> <laughs> so Yelstad is wearing a Yankee cap. Is this sort of like when Americans wear a scarf pretending to be European? He's pretending to be an American fish. He loves the Nye Yankees. <laughs> I didn't, didn't know yet that he's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's not, you know? Yeah, but then? And then suddenly... Andre Shadalov now with two black aces. <laughs> Venus and Serena. Yeah. Ace, ace do so clubs, bang. Easy. Easy game. No, I thought, I thought he, he would be bluffing too. And Dan DeZenzo, a New Jersey online reg, uh, wakes up with kings here. Yeah. 
Man, sucks to suck. There's the three bet to 26 million. Shadalov, if he reads Dezenzo is strong, he may go for another bet. It's also possible that he could just call here. I don't dislike either. And Shadalov elects to just call. Ace, ace, nine. Just ridiculous flop. And the presence of two aces has to make Dezenzo feel a little bit better about kings. Rates to be the best hand still. You got that right, Sista. Deuce rolls off on the turn. Shouldn't change anything. Shadowlove decides to check, 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 and trap him. Please don't use that ever. <laughs> so Shadowlove has now checked the flop and turn with his quad aces. This is actually a pretty sweet run out. He can probably go for any amount he wants, and it'll look like a possible call from something as light as king high. 22? He bets a very reasonable 23 million. If I'm in Dan's spot, I think I was hoping that it was a little more. You think your kings are good here? Sure. And Dan really lost the minimum on that hand. Wow. Just quads, just quads. Not the best. Whoa. What a horrible flop, huh? We are still eight-handed here at the final table. Take a look at these chip counts. Previn Stockin, Sam Greenwood, and Andre Shadalov, all with very similar stacks. The blinds are up to 2.5 million, 5 million, with a 5 million chip button ante. That is a lot of millions, Jamie. You know, the starting stack for this tournament was actually 1 million chips. And now every single orbit is going to cost each player 12.5 million. I think maybe they should just cash out. Is this even real? <laughs> Sam Greenwood, currently the chip leader, will open king nine. This Sam Greenwood already has like, a second good, place and like, a third place finish. Just like sticks a bit up here in Punta Cana. Of course, the 25K high roller and the 10K high roller. Shalob, queen jack of diamonds. He qualifies and does call. Queen five, deuce. Shalob checks in flow to Greenwood. Sam Greenwood looks up at his imaginary flow charts to decide whether this is a bet or check back. Pretty sure it's just a giant neon sign that says always bet. Seven million is the continuation bet from Sam Greenwood. Eight comes off here on the turn. It's not the best card in the world for Sam to continue on. In reality, his hands don't connect with any backdoor draws that were there on the flop. 36 million. So much for little stabby bets. Big decision here for Shadowlov. Does make the call. Seven of diamonds. Greenwood knows when he stabs at this flop and then continues for a big turn bet that he's gonna have to make it really huge on the river if he wants Shadowlov to fold. Uh, Greenwood's telling the story that he has an overpair to this board, and I like that he's taking this opportunity because he's a big chip leader, and Shadowlov has a lot to lose here if he busts in this spot. Wow. Sam no, Greenwood showing that he is just not scared. This is a nearly impossible spot. I understand that the board doesn't appear to be all that ominous, but just take into consideration that Shadowlov is sitting second in chips. If he were to finish second in this event, he would earn $650,000. And now Sam Greenwood has bet all three streets and Shadowlov is looking at walking away in eighth place if he calls and is wrong with just one pair. 
I can see his cards and I still want to fold. This is just a lot of pressure. He, in his mind, he is giving up half a million dollars if he calls here and is wrong. Greenwood's a really smart player and he knows how difficult it would be to call off in this situation. Wow. Nice call. Unreal call. I really can't, I honestly can't believe that just happened. Wow. Mm -hmm. Greenwood goes for it and gets punished. Shadowlov makes an incredible call. That may simply just look like a great call, but it's a really, really, really great call considering all of the money that's on the line there. Still eight-handed at this final table. And now that cripples Sam Greenwood from chip leader to just three bigs. Oh, it's... So Shadowlob now has more than double. Anyone else at the table? Two cards, I mean. Hmm? Two cards, I mean. I'm going to say I always have a hand because I have a hand. Two cards. Mm hmm King-queen for Felipe Ramos. And Ramos will make the call. Deuce, ace, tray, two diamonds on the flop here. Shadow off doesn't have much, so he's gonna have to stab if he wants to win this one. And sometimes not having much is the best approach because you know exactly where you stand. Ramos with nut, no pair. King, queen, high does make the call. Very important king of diamonds for some backdoor draws. Ace of hearts hits on the turn. Let's see how Shadowloff wields a big stack, if he keeps the pressure on or if he's one of those chip maintainers. And it does go check, check. 10 of diamonds on the river. King, queen, still the best hand, still nut, no pair. And wisely, Shadowloff does check and give up. I think a stab on the river would have been called by Ramos with his nut no pair. What is that? Six side off. Okay, Sao Paulo. Yeah. Very important pot for Ramos. It's not like we're in the countryside. It's like it's uh it's close it's close to the ocean actually. Like uh, my place is like uh, 65 kilometers from the ocean, something like this. 70, yeah. 70. Yeah. All right, that is close. Huh? And that is close. That's close. Though. Sam Greenwood like, on uh, life support here. Puts the last of it in. It's 12.5. Just two and a half bigs. A6. It's a great feeling to be that short and wake up with an ace. You know you're getting called by many, many worse hands than yours, and the big blind's pretty much compelled to call with any two. You can borrow one, huh? Greenwood's going to be in bad shape with Shadowlaw waking up with the ace eight. Revin Stockin, <laughs> just 7.5 to call. Too good to pass up. 45 million in the middle now. Greenwood with one foot out the door, just 12% equity. Ace in the window. 10 king ace, two spades is the flop. Pretty good flop for Greenwood, who pairing his ace with two big cards has many chop opportunities. Big card. And they can chop up Brevin mm. Stockin's money. Mm. So with the dead money in the pot, mm. Sam Greenwood in a good position to chop and end up with 22-5. The turn we go, it's the six of diamonds. Chop it up. From 12.5 to 45 million. Not a bad result. Greenwood more than triples up. And you know the saying, 45 million chips in a chair. Andre Shadilov, our overwhelming chip leader with 323 million after that massive pot with Sam Greenwood. Greenwood with one foot out the door just found a quadruple up before break. You like the quadruple up? And he's now sitting with nine big blinds at 2.5 and 5 million with a 5 million button ante. Hmm? Oh, okay. <laughs> now we just saw King Jack go into the muck and Jamie, that's probably because there's some short stacks. 
Yep, no need to mess with these big stacks and you can just sit here and make money. This was a 5K buy-in and a lot of players certainly satellited their way in for much less, so the money is far more significant. You're looking at a pay jump from $70,000 to $100,000. You can outlast even one person. Meanwhile, Shadowlop opens the action with ace four, Ramos calls with two nines, and Dezenzo with ace two suited. Like 45 behind? Like 50, or 60. 50, Seven, six. eight, five, two hearts. Dezenzo, not flush draw. All in. Dezenzo rips it. How much there? 56. This is 50 right here. I'll do it. Least 50, yeah. I call. Ramos makes the call, putting Dezenzo at risk for his tournament life. Just take an ace. <laughs> Just take an ace. <laughs> Ramos is going to be looking to dodge hearts. And the dealer makes it quick and painless, and Dezenzo is out the door in eighth place, earning himself $70,000. Now you can buy another one of those hats. Is this of uh, hearts? Not as much as I would have liked to fold. <laughs> so down to seven. Every player has locked up at least 100 grand. Must feel nice. Yeah, that was the hope with there that it have. I was supposed to have aces last time, you know? Having had aces today, maybe. Maybe this one. Not me either. Better go. I also had kings. No way. Alan? Greenwood with Jack 8 suited from the small and just 8 bigs. And Horak does make the call with Queen 10 suited. Greenwood's not too happy about that, yeah, having his guys. clubs dominated and his jack yeah, dominated. <laughs> no, would be other no. Caribbean no. stunhand. Oh, yeah, different suits. Four, six, deuce, one yeah. club, nothing for Greenwood. And I, Greenwood's drawing really part. thin on this river, I'll but it's the again. jack, and he gets this much needed double up. Can't kill him. Can't kill him. Can I show that stuff? King Queen for Jenny from the block. Yelstad from Norway. Make it 11 million. Felipe considering getting in the mix here with his 9 8 suited. It's just too pretty to pass up here. Seven, deuce, ten, up and down for Ramos. Yelstead, he remembers when the Dodgers moved from Brooklyn to L.A. Eight on the turn. Ramos now with the best of it. He does go for some turn value. Mm, that looks like a folding gesture. Okay. I, you? Fun fact Queen? about Yelstead, he said his favorite all-time Yankee is Danny Tartable. Ooh, the slow peel comes through for Greenwood. Is this for real right now?
This guy's good. Finds a fold there. Get out. Should have won best picture. Preben stocking with Ace King. Preben's already stocking some chips in his mind. Real Emmy winning material there. This just isn't fair if you're Preben stocking. Owen. And we've already seen two of his kings folded. Three percent equity with Ace King. That's hard to do. Two hearts. Deck of hearts. Some life <laughs> Little for slice. stock in here on the flop. Ooh. More life. Just a heart. Black five is about as far from a heart as you can get. Not the sweat though. And with this 170 million chip pot, Sam Greenwood is not too far off from where he was when he made that huge block. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Greenwood up to 167.5 million now. Andre Shadalov still our chip leader, and we've got three stacks with sub 20 big blinds. It's not like that board is like perfect. For and we're returning to 2.5 million, 5 million blinds with the 5 million chip button ante. Greenwood, ace four of clubs. You play like 170 now, right? Yeah. Hill two exit to 10 million. And Shadalov uh, is finally putting that big stack to work. The little light three bet with the ace three suited. Greenwood with a perfectly reasonable ace four suited. We'll let you make the call. Getting better than three to one. And there's the call, 65.5 million in the middle. and Greenwood flopping two pair on this board. It's Greenwood's forest and we're just living in it. 21 million is the continuation bet from Shadowlov. And Sam Greenwood looking at his flow charts in the sky again, deciding what's the best play here. Flow charts in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> Five of diamonds peels off here. Some life for Shadalov. Not only do the players have some chop opportunities, but there are some rivers that can outright win the hand for Andre. Five of diamonds also serves to kill the action, and Greenwood can't really pump the pot much anymore. Goes check, check. Shadalov getting lucky here. Fourth diamond on the river is going to make it really hard for Greenwood to get much more value. Also kind of sucks if you're in Sam Greenwood's spot because you're handcuffed and you might have to make a really difficult call or fold, depending on what Shadowlaw decides to do. It's kind of difficult to feel bad for Sam Greenwood right now, though. I concur. Does go check check, and Sam Greenwood will take another 107.5 million chip pot. And you know what, Jamie? He's up to 227 and a half million. This is bananas. Queen Jack of Spades for Greenwood. And he likes to raise. I like it. I like it. Shadowlov. Clearly a bit peeved by the way things have gone. Shadowlov elects to receive some more pain. He will make the call. Queen nine of clubs from the small. Ramos follows suit with king eight in the big. Big pot or small pot, guys? Depends. 
Prince. Very big. Queen, five, nine, two hearts. Top two pair for Shadalov. Greenwood just running really bad here. Poor guy. 12 million is the bet from Greenwood. You want to play a big just a call too. from the top two of Shadalov. I want to play a big pot. <laughs> Deuce of hearts on the turn. Three hearts now on the board. Eight on the river. Kind of confused when, when the jack is gonna come in. Me too, I'm just expecting it to show up on 6th Street. This would be a really sweet time for Greenwood to just pull some ridiculous bluff, because who would expect him to do it twice? Uh... His hand's too good for that though. He doesn't like the spot. You can tell he kind of hates it. He feels like he just has to call, but his gut is telling him otherwise. And he's gonna think this one through for a bit. Conceivably, multiple draws have come in from the turn and river. And Sam Greenwood ships a big pot over to Shadalov. And we're going to make a big shift from the Greenwood to the putting green because poker is not the only thing going on down here at the Caribbean Poker Party. Uh, golf, good. No, oh, love it. Yes. Gold, 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 please. Do this. Nice tight glove. That's a bit of knuckle on the end. Johnny, we've got a par three on the second hole. Play close to the four. pin. One yeah. shot. As much as you lose want. Loser takes a forfeit. I almost put money on it. Now I'm talking like, like streaking in the lobby or something when we get back. There's got to be a forfeit. So hole two, yeah? We'll go for that? Should we go yeah. for that? We're good. We're good. Okay. So, <laughs> Decent forfeit. Three shots of tequila or something like that. Yeah, okay. That you don't want. Three shots of tequila? None. Straight down. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 you have whatever shot you want. Okay, Carl, so you're ready for your shots. What are you gonna enjoy? You know what, I don't enjoy tequila, it makes me hallucinate. So that's, why, that's why we had tequila. So I'm gonna have um, Sambuca this evening. I'll be all right on the Sambuca. But you're joining me, yeah? I'm always in. I wanted to lose, that's why I shot so bad. But I couldn't even lose to you. <laughs> Shadalov still our overwhelming chip leader here, and there are four players that are still sitting with less than 20 big blinds. And the blinds remain at 2.5 million, 5 million, with the 5 million chip button ante. Surely they must go up at some point. They'll go up, and my name's not Shirley. <laughs> Two jacks in the trunk for Greenwood. I hate jacks. They are so hard to play. There's only three ways to play jacks. And they're all wrong. Our short stack, Yuri Horak, all in with ace queen, suited in diamonds. Suited in his hand with diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam Greenwood makes the call with his two jacks. And it's off to the races. He's flipping, but it's his real jacket. equity is probably 90%. Okay. Nine, king, tray. 
Green is good. And no help for Horik in the flop. Ten of diamonds. Four of diamonds. The ten of diamonds makes oh, things no, super out. interesting here. Really? Diamonds. Come on. The car for real. Oh, I hate Jack. Nice. Also, they never <laughs> win. Should have just folded them pre-flop. I hate jacks. I hate poker. So action folds around to the cutoff. Shadowlov. 6-5 will make it 12 million. Why does he always look so happy? to put my, stretch my legs out. Yeah. Ramos just calls <laughs> ace jack. Yo, whose grandpa is this? Maybe one for the Americas this time. And how did Shadowoff know it was coming? 754 flop and he has the 65. 16. Checks it to Ramos. Who will give him 16 million chips? Maybe not. Shadowlob just calls yet. with his pair and up and down straight draw, which is now a straight with a straight flush redraw. Ramos drawing dead AF. Ramos deciding how many chips he'd like to kiss goodbye. Twenty six five is the bet, and now the call one hundred twenty one point five million in the middle. Red deuce on the river. It's a big pot to just give up on if you're Ramos. He's considering right now how big his bet would have to be to win this pot, how often it's going to work, and if it's the wise thing to do. Maybe the best thing to do right now is just maintain his chip stack and live to fight another hand. 80 million. He does decide to go for it. He has to size up pretty big. Uh, he goes two thirds pot and gets the bad news instantly. Snap call from Shadowlob. That's a rough one for Felipe that's Ramos. Big, right? And that's actually gonna put Shadowlob over 500 million in chips. The blinds have gone up to 3 million, 6 million with a 6 million chip button ante. Shadowlob with King Jack suited makes it 15 million. Two jacks, Blue. better early than never. That makes no sense. Doesn't have to, because it's poker on TV. Six eight. Ouch, and there's the king. Earl is looking for the one and only jack remaining to stay in this tournament. And he makes an Earl exit, earning $100,000 for a seventh Call. place finish. I was playing with you. Yeah, thank you. And now with the elimination of another player, everyone is locked up 150 grand, so perhaps the table will loosen up just a bit. Haven't heard All from Previn Stockin in a bit, and he finds a shove with Jack Nine of Hearts for 69 million. Just 11 and a half big blinds. 69. And Greenwood waking up behind with Ace Ten of Hearts and a decision on his hands. Alan. There it is, the all-in. 
again. Uh, I saw the I saw the ace flash. Uh, Greenwood lamenting the fact that he saw one of his outs flash. Where did the ace of clubs? Yeah. To the flop we go. It's deuce nine eight. Stockin temporarily pulls ahead. And it's short-lived as the ace hits the turn. Seven completes the board, and Stockton will be eliminated in sixth place for $150,000. He's probably not thrilled to have busted out here after coming in as a chip leader. Yeah, he's probably not too stoking. Oh, wait, is it Stockton? Is it Stoken? Have we been saying it wrong this whole time? Andre Shadilov, still our overwhelming chip leader here. He's got three times as much as anyone okay. else, and with blinds at three and six million, look at the stacks of Ramos. And I don't think anyone else is gonna make a move other than Shadilov until Ramos does. There it is. Five bigs, nine seven of diamonds. Hate jacks. Fold them. Probably should just fold them. And Horak decides to isolate with his jacks and shoves all in for 124 million. Jacks way ahead, but we know they never win. Hate jacks. So the deep run of Felipe Ramos at risk here. Ooh. One diamond in the window. Just backdoor draws here. And Ramos picks up some life on the turn. He's going to need a non hard eight. And it doesn't come home. Horak makes the flush, knocks out Ramos, and Ramos will be our fifth place finisher, taking home $220,000. Not a bad payday on a 5K buy-in. Down to four players now, and the minimum payout is $315,850. Action folds around to Andre Shadilov with a monster stack there. Raises to 21 million with king nine of diamonds. Greenwood will defend jack eight of hearts. Well, look at that. That is a big flop for both players. You have Greenwood flopping middle pair, the jack high flush draw and shadow off with top pair. Just a relatively small continuation from shadow off. And if you're Greenwood, I like just a call here. And the call he does, 81 million in the middle, four of diamonds on the turn. Shadow off decides that he has a hand worth two streets of value, not three. And again, if I'm Greenwood here, I think I like checking back. He's got a lot of showdown value. And the ace of hearts completes the board, and Greenwood makes his flush. And in all likelihood, Shadowlov will check again, and then Greenwood could just bomb for whatever amount he wants. And he's thinking now, does Shadowlov have some sort of showdown value? Fifty million. Nice round number. It's hard to get away from this if you're Shadowlov after hitting top pair and just going check check. See, you got ace on the river. And then he does make the curiosity call, finds out the bad what? news, and yeah. Sam Greenwood takes out another significant pot. And I think you can tell that Andre Shadilov is not thrilled putting any chips back into the stack of Sam Greenwood. Very good. Who has been relentless at this final table. Shadilov opens ace four. Greenwood calls with king queen. Ace, six, queen, Greenwood checks. Shadow Lab sizing up 
a continuation bet of 13 million. Greenwood, of course, will call. 65 million in the middle. Eight of clubs on the turn. Sam checks again. Thirty-three million, sizable bet here from Shadowlov. And Greenwood does make the call. Pot up to one hundred and thirty-one million. Red five on the river. That's gonna go check check. Shadowlov turns over the ace. Shadow Love's our big chip leader right now, 606 million. I'd like to see him lean on Greenwood a little bit, who's the second biggest stack at the table, who will have to make a lot of big folds while we still have two short stacks under 20 big blinds left. Fold, fold to the blinds. Shadow Love just calls with eight, nine. And Greenwood checks his option with Jack Nine of Clubs. Six, nine, Jack, two diamonds. And Shadowloft decides to lead one big blind with his middle pair. Greenwood with a decision how he wants to play this. Based on the board texture and how draw heavy it is, I most certainly like a raise here. Am I as good as Sam Greenwood? Shadowloft probably wishing he took the check call option because he knows Sam Greenwood is quite a bully on the felt. But in this case, he's drawing quite slim. There's the six of clubs on the turn. Shadowlob drawing dead now. Thirty million is the bet from Greenwood. Shadowlob does, in fact, get away from it. All in. All in from Yelstad. 79. Hmm? Fun fact, 79. his favorite 79. Yankee pitcher was Jack McDowell. There's a call from Shadowlob with two eights. Yelstad's gonna be happy to see that. Mm -hmm. 10 small tights. The sit key on it, those me check. Hold the baby. Hold the baby, they say. There's the full double up for Yelstead. Yelstead with quite the rail there. That's all. We began with eight and are down to just four-handed play or eight-handed play, depending on the amount of arms per person. What Jesse's trying to say is that we said goodbye to Dan Desenzo, Preben Stockin, Udo Erli, and Felipe Ramos. And on the next show, we'll play down to a winner. We'll take home $1 million. Cool, cool, cool. For everyone here at Poker Night, I'm Jamie Kerstetter. And I'm Jesse Abramowitz. Until next time, deuces.